department allow the private investor to invest in the, this uh, forestry sector. But most of the people, they don't know how to manage and how to establish a plantation. So this is uh, the niche area, that, that's why we establish a company and we are making a good business in there. And not only for that one, also we provide the services for the international organization like JICA, Quaker, UNDB, WFE. So thank you, and so for another slide. So that mainly, so two parts. So we all, we cover the one thing is a plantation forestry, another one, one is a environment services. Uh, since uh, 2008, I was dreaming about to be providing service about the EISI, but at the times, we don't have uh, any, you know, the, nobody care about the EIA, nobody care about the SIA. But uh, after that, we changed the, you know, the dictatorship to the democratic uh, government. Now we have a uh, environmental law and also that we set up, uh, you know, the, also the change the name from the Ministry of Forestry to Ministry of Conservation Forestry and also the uh, uh, environmental conservation department as well, who will be, you know, oversee the, all the, uh, I'm from the related, you know, the area in Myanmar. Thank you. So this year alone, we handle round about the five thousand acres of plantation. So I have around about hundred and seventy staff, and so we are we are, we have we are managing around about nineteen one nine project throughout the Myanmar. Thank you. So starting from the 2008 to 2013, so we are gradually grow, and so up to the this year, we already managed around about the 5,000 hectares of plantation already established, and these are the some sort of you know species that we established because uh, in the near future, and also the uh, Ministry of uh, Mokef Junior Minister already announced. We will reduce the uh, you know extraction of the hardwood, also the deep deep wood from the natural forest. So we have to be uh, some uh, you know the supply for the our uh, timber related business. So this will be the uh, fill in, fill in the gap. Thank you. So I will show you some sort of the picture. So this is one of the establish. Uh, deep plantation. So next. So this is uh, the at the uh, dry zone area. We are working for the Korea International Cooperation Agency for the greening. So you can see the the before and after situation. Next slide, please. This is totally bare land, and after planting, so before and after. So also we are working to, uh, closely with the, those uh, international cooperation agency for, you know, the competing test certification. Thank you. So our work is changing. Also, Nyama. Nyama is now is very changing. Please. So Nyama, during the the twenty years or years ago, we don't have uh, much opportunity, but now and then. We have a lot of opportunity, and also we can speak out our voice. That's why the even the you know the, the big project is a, is a postponed by the you know the president. So these are the opportunity, creating a lot of investor. But we have to be careful about the not to uh, impact to the you know the uh, environment. Also, most benefit to the country. So this is a, some, some changes. Okay, well, everybody in the, this room know the why the key factor of the forest degradation. Uh, but uh, there are some, uh, you know, the uh, uh, behind the those key factors. So Myanmar during the closed door era, we don't have a much chance from to get the hard currency from the other area, like say for the business, like a production or something like that. Mostly we rely mainly on the natural resources to end the, you know, the, to end the hard currency. So this is a main factor. Another factor 
is a people. They don't have a much opportunity for the job. So what, what they, they rely on is a natural resource. So they just move into the forest and they cut the forest and they, they cut uh, they said that you know as uh, illegally or legally. So now that they now that they the there are a lot of uh, you know I illegal forest uh, driller in the you know the forest. So but the uh, government already this new government already the 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 uh, allow the them to settle. So we they already write out around about the I think it's uh, three hundred thousand hectares of forest land to be right out for the people. Thank you. This is a deforestation rate in Yama. Yeah, next slide please. So mostly uh, we have uh, three type of plantation in Yama. One is a department, one is a community forestry. The community forestry we started since uh, 1994 and also the things are from the 2006 uh, private plantation. But uh, now, now I see you, if you uh, see the, uh, there are a lot of uh, private uh, uh, the, the percentage is uh, nearly, but a short time, the percentage is uh, very high now. We have uh, around about uh, uh, 300 people, community and individual invest in the forestry sector. Next slide, please. This is a di distribution by the species, mostly the, you know, the industry, uh, like a palm oil and the rubber plantation. Next slide, please. So, how, if you want the land, so how much you have to pay? This is a, this is a, need, you need to pay very, very few. Let's say for the example of the tea plantation, you just need to pay the 200 jar. This is around about the 0.25 cents per acre per year, very cheap. <laughs> so this is a, one of the opportunity to invest in the, you know, the forestry sector in Yama. But the, 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 the department, forest department only allow the plantation to be established on the degraded land, not on the natural forest. So this way we also helping the to be, you know, the to 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 stop the you know the uh, locking from the natural forest. So we can be not now, maybe another five or ten years, so we can supply the you know timber from the our plantation. Exactly. So <coughs> we still have uh, some, uh, you know, the the thing we have uh, three uh, as i told you we have uh, three major stakeholder public private and also the uh, community forest user so but uh, we have uh, some potential and also the challenges so now that now i am talking with uh, another company so in yamma especially in the KA and the tenila stage we have uh, something like the com conflict between the you know the we call it a uh, itp internally display passing. So we are trying to uh, have a try to be the you know the just in the brainstorming state, try to deploy the some the you know business for model for the uh, project uh, for them is like please. So we have we still have a challenge here because uh, we still have a the because T is a long term investment so community cannot be uh, have a you know the many and the afford to be sad. So we are. So that's why we are thinking about the how do we support that one. Next slide, please. So also that we have to imp uh, this are few uh, obstacle and also there there are some exchange rate. Yeah. So but uh, uh, as you know that if uh, we can support those, those people, they have a they have a. They can earn the, a lot of money, and also we can save the, a lot of uh, you know the the forest land compared to the other type of the land use. This is uh, what sort of we are uh, thinking about at this moment, and also we have uh, some challenges because uh, we don't have uh, the strong land tenure right at this moment uh, for the people. Yeah, next slide, please. So for the team itself. It's a growing asset. Every morning, when the sun comes up, your investment will be growing. <laughs> so this is something like that. I I talk to my investor. So what is a we have a, you know the, something like that. We already can calculate the ROI and everything, but uh, I will not be telling you because uh, this is not a marketing <laughs> marketing presentation. Yeah. Also, we are thinking about the you know the intercropping uh, with the. Orchid and other like uh, you know the 
the seasonal crop like you know buy a banana. So we are thinking about the you know the give them the something like the premium and premium so to support the local people to be more in person in the forestry sector. Yeah, exactly. So, but uh, anyhow, the private plantation are in the very young state. We are also a very young uh, is now, and also we have uh, some technology for the you know the for the our product because uh, our uh, forestry industry is a uh, industry is a uh, very old fashioned. We need we don't have a. Uh, Good cut technology like in Thailand, they use uh, you know the CNC machine for the furniture making and everything. That's will be the very advantage. So the the waste is uh, minimum, least likely. So this is a uh, some sort of the the deconsideration because uh, we are in the very young state, so we cannot see if it is uh, sustainable for the long term or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much.